The Man Cave is proudly sponsored by hippo.co.za. They'll instantly source quotes from a range of car insurance brands so you don't have to. SMS HIPPO to 43298. Welcome to another awesome episode of The Man Cave. Hold on to your seats, boys and girls. You're in for a bumpy ride. Bumpy ride indeed. Mancavians, check out our latest Hippo car review. We are here to play the ultimate game of tag, Man Cave style. That's the thing, where exactly is here? Here, my brother. Is this is Dark Metals. Uh, we're currently at the Clipfontein Depot in Mpumalanga, which is the largest scrap metal and recycling uh, facility in the province. Who was that? Don't know, don't care, but he stole my thunder, that was my moment. Anyways, what do they do here? Now that's the interesting part. The Dark Metals purchases uh, bulk scrap from uh, the mines and smelters as well as the local uh, community. Most of it uh, that comes in here is unprocessed and requires us to uh, downsize it. Thank you brother! Now go away. He's like Morgan Freeman, just pops up to explain things. Now back to our game. So the scrap yard is our playground and these heaps of scrap metal is basically like the toys, the props, the obstacles. We've got to maneuver around it, drift around it, hide behind it, find each other and tag each other with our little magnet thing. Looks like this. What a terrible throw. You're fired! Okay, okay. got it. No, you're it. It's on your vehicle, okay. you are tagged, you are chasing me and obviously vice versa. Just, just, just one thing. We're going to play for an hour. So after an hour, whoever's got the tag is the loser. One thing, how are we going to maneuver around this lovely obstacle course in Junkyard? What cars, brother? What is and Vico on your screen? What do you expect? What cars? Chinese cars. Since we send most of the scrap metal to the Chinese, okay. what we did is we asked them to send us two vehicles. This is it, my boy. Welcome. You got to be kidding me. Are you playing games? These are perfect tag cars. This is a QQ3, boy. A cherry. Shut up. This is a joke. This is a foul! It's a FAW V2. Yeah, but it's a V. At least it's got four cylinders and it's a 1300 as opposed to your little uh, boxy. Don't underestimate this little pocket rocket, boy. 812 cc's of nothing but power. Double overhead cam. It's tiny, like half a loaf of bread. I can yeah. put it into it, everywhere here. Yeah. Th this be Jerry. This be Tom. I'll be chasing you around the spot all day long. Tom never catches Jerry. Oh, so no, let's get does. started. You're he it. Does. He does. Seriously, Warris. Boy, play the game! Don't be a spoiled sport. Damn it. It's basically an 800cc, which is like a motorbike engine in a car. It's very small, it's very maneuverable. You really gotta get the revs up to like five, six thousand revs to get the car moving comfortably and with a little bit of punch that it lacks. But for today's purpose, it's going to be perfect. Why? Because it's small, it's nimble, and it's got a great handbrake. Ah! He's on you. <laughs> Let's go, boy. FAW versus QQ3. Hey! Hey, Granons! Hey, hey, Granons! Find that Warris. Can't see him, but he was somewhere that time. And this is like my hiding spot. I think I'll be pretty okay. Ah! <laughs> it's got all the features that you really need electric windows. Power steering. The interior, funny enough, is actually quite spacious. A day-to-day -day commuter takes you from A to B and that's where you need to be. I don't know where Vic is. The thing is, he could pop out of anywhere. Da! 
ass is killing my face! <laughs> boy, this is a dead end. No, no. Reset. It's only a dead end for you, homeboy. Bam! Catch me if you can. Gotta get away quick. The double back on him. Got to move. A little coward. What is this oak? Oh, uh, yes! That's not a. Oh, sh that was mad amounts of fun. It, it just was, eh? shows you, you don't have to spend a fortune on a car to have fun in it. And, and I didn't lose, Warris. In any case, you did lose because the stickers on your car, did you, did you forget the rules? No, no, trust me. I didn't lose. Whatever. I'll see you in the man cave. In my cherry! So common, right? Yeah, common, but you, you have to give kudos to these little cars because they were actually pretty impressive around that scrapyard for, for cars that cost less than a microwave. Uh, so common? Yes, they're common. They're the worst cars we've had this season. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, give us your thoughts. Hit, hit us up on Twitter. One thing I can tell you is that the, the cost will be pretty minimal for insurance. Um, so guys, don't just get the first quote. Compare at hippo.co.za and get the best option for you. Yeah, guys, now after the break, I get to chat to with the fantastical creatures from the world of Warcraft. Hi. My wife is also expecting. I'm not pregnant. There are comparison don'ts and comparison do's, like using hippo.co.za. They'll instantly source quotes from a range of car insurance brands so you don't have to. You could save hundreds of rands per month by comparing. SMS hippo to 43298 or visit hippo.co.za. She also has huge food cravings. <laughs> For a richer, more rewarding life, Richelieu. The global fitness and health industry generates over 80 billion US dollars annually, and the biggest portion of that coming from the brick and mortar establishments. The average Joe that decides that they want to be fit and healthy has many options to pick from. They can go to CrossFit, a gym, or boxing like I do. The options are endless, but none of them have the energy and vibe of this that has been sweeping the globe, and it's called Switch Playground, and it's proudly South African. Lekkerheers! I've founded a lot of fitness concepts and I believe this is my, uh, my final dance. You know, I've, I've kind of looked at everything that was great and that wasn't as great and put it together. It's culminated into this, which is now the Switch Playground. So we begin every class with our 7 to 10 minute power flow yoga and that helps you to shut down the outside world, set your goals for that hour, start to really bring yourself and become completely conscious and be present in the room. And exhale, tap and swing. Steve started Switch in Cape Town Bree Street and after that he saw tremendous success. But he didn't stop there. He expanded overseas to New York City. And after all this anticipation, he's finally opened one right here in Jose. You are going to have a partner with you who's going to motivate you, push you through and someone to share your pain and love with. I have just the person for it. Perfect, bring it on. Let's do it. I'm Alita De Vets, um, the current face of fitness. I won three titles at Rossi Classic last year. I won Miss Body Beautiful and two titles at Rossi Grand Prix this year. I don't know about you, sir, but I'm ready. Are you? I'm born ready. Let's kick some butt. Let's do it. I've never done something like this before. I'm a bit scared. In three, two, one. Let's go! I 
took all the best components of exercise and put them together. So there was, uh, there's cardio, strength or, or resistance, there's functional training, core stability, and you're at a station for two minutes. So you've got, you get given a number when you arrive. I took the fun part of exercise and I said, let's do something where we create that energy and the dynamic push of being partners together. The workout does change every day, so you don't know what to expect. And that's what's so cool about it, is we implement all different facets of exercise. And as a, as a client, you can come every day because you never know what's coming. Three, two, one, three. Come on! I will not be stopped! The thing that was lacking in a group fitness situation was there's one facilitator or instructor and there's 40 people in the room. You cannot communicate to all 40 and or correct them. And for me, form and function is the most crucial element. On behalf of Switch Playground, I just want to congratulate you both on an awesome class. All my trainers, you're awesome. Everybody, awesome job. Mancavians, that is Switch Playground. An unbelievable workout, intense adrenaline. There's music, there's a vibe, there's motivation. It's just mind-blowing. Switch Playground, baby. Yeah, at least you know you're going to shed those feelers quick. They don't call it heavyweight for nothing, baby. Let's go again! Woo! Recently, I traveled to Los Angeles, California for the screening of the epic Universal Pictures production, Warcraft. Now, the online game grosses over $100 million annually. The question is, can the movie match? Let's take a look. Forge your sword, put on your armor, protect your world. Millions of gamers around the world have been doing this as part of Warcraft, but now the war is on the big screen. The man cave is ready. Are you? Dark forces are upon us. Our world is on the edge of war. It's death to all things. Mr. Jones. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm all right. How are you? Thank you for joining us in the Man Cave. This industry of gaming has kind of brought followers to your movie. So were you scared yeah. about the pressure of that? The game's been around for 20 years, and the number I heard is that 100 million people have played the game over that 20-year history. So I know that there's a big fan base out there, and I know that there's going to be a lot of eyes watching me to see whether I got it right or not from their perspective. Why are you here? to save our people. But you guys have to get into the game to kind of get these characters. You don't need to be a big gamer to watch this movie or to appreciate it. We've made, we've, we're starting at the very beginning, hence. The beginning. The beginning. We're starting at the very duh. beginning to introduce not just people that are familiar with the game to a world they already know and love, but to make it easy for people to have an entry point. We must fight together. For orcs, there is no other life but war. But with the human help, there could be. Well, how do you strike that balance between uh, creative liberties and also sticking to what the game is? When we all kind of decided on what the film needed to be, to go right back to the beginning, to the first game was called Orcs and Humans, yeah. and it was all about this first contact between these two different civilizations, these two cultures. And a lot of those characters were, were drawn in big, broad brushes in the game. 
And my job was like, fill in the details. Who are these people? What do they care about? Because that's not in the game. Yeah. You know, that's, that's something that needed a, a, a new interpretation. And that's the idea that heroes are on all sides. And in this script, it was kind of the old fashioned thing. You know, the humans were the good guys, the monsters were the bad guys. And that's not what Warcraft is. Can we trust him? They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. Are you sure about that? This thing has a following already and you kind of, you have a character that sets out for you, so how did you add your own personal touch to it? Duncan was very diligent about being faithful to the mythology of the game yep. and to the history of these characters. Rooting yourself in the reality of the world and trusting that the world has been faithfully developed enough in order to just let yourself off the leash and just try and bring truth to it. Half the people are CGI and they've got these markers on their faces. I mean, you guys are just playing yourselves in your normal state. Duncan was great, you know, he was about always keeping a lifelike statue of what the orcs yeah. look like, so it constantly reminded you of what that was. Even if he was in blue PJs, you still oh. kind of could imagine, <laughs> don't be carrying himself like, I'm a fierce orc and I'm the leader of my clan, even in these PJs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you worried about that? The fact that the, the serious gamers may come up to you and speak to you in an orc language and you may not be able to reply? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm worried. I'm not worried. I've got it. Whatever they say, I'll understand. Does it make you nervous to think that maybe five years, ten years down the line, you could be doing a fourth edition and you guys could Do be you know the what? icons I, of this? It makes me so nervous that I might be employed for the next... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, please. Like, yeah. Please let it go for ten films, because then we'll be able to tell... Not only will I be filthy rich, <laughs> but it'll be, it will be able to tell stories that people really want us to tell. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! After the break, we're joined by the female Protea cricket captain, Mignon Dupria. Guest of the Week, brought to you by Richelieu. Our Richelieu Guest of the Week is captain of the SA women's cricket team, Mignon Dupre. Welcome to the Man Cave. Thank you very much for having me, guys. Okay, right off the bat. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> no, you know, which code do you prefer? Five days, one day internationals or T20? I enjoy the T20 format at the moment. It's short and sweet and um, it gets the fans excited. So I think if I had to pick one, um, I had said it in 20 format. You're also the captain of the side. What makes a good leader? Uh, for me personally, I, I have a more open approach. I, I, I like to spend time with the girls and make sure that not just on the field, but um, uh, that, that I do take care of them because if, if in the personal lives if they have issues or whatever, they might not perform to the best of their ability. I have to ask you this. In, in men's cricket, the guys wear box. <laughs> I knew this question was coming. <laughs> in female cricket, is there a protective layer, yeah? No, we don't have one. Really? I've actually, it's pretty interesting, but I have heard that some suppliers have made like a woman's I don't know what, if you can... Before we get to a broker challenge, let's do some don'ts and do's. Don't or do indoor cricket? Do. Guys wearing chalk stripes? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go in there. I had to go in there very quickly. Pick up lines? Don't. Make up to the gym? Do. Do? Yes, I think you can still, because like, you still need to feel good when you want to go out to the gym. Supporting Australia in any form of a World Cup? That's a hard one. Not when I'm up against them, but they are. In most sports, they, they are a definite contender for the final, so you will probably want to support them. Yeah, okay, so that's a don't. Man, so that's I'm a, a, a betting man. It's a do for me, guys. Make your money. Make your money for you. <laughs> Clubbing. Uh, don't. Don't? 
not, just, um, I think I'm now slightly too old for the clubbing scene, but um, there's definitely a time to do that in your student years. Declaring while one of your teammates is on 98 runs. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I know how tough it is to score 100 in tests and look if she then goes out of 98 I might uh, but I won't do that. I think um, I would give her the chance to score 100. You are the captain of the cricket team so I expect you to do extremely well in the Baraka Challenge. Mignon, welcome to the Paraka Challenge. This is where we separate the girls from the elite ladies. Now, simple thing to do, have some Paraka for some energy there. And then, hit it! Let's go, my lady! Pick it up, that's it, got it. Yes, yes, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Let's keep it going. Pump it up, my lady, you've got this. Here's the century coming. This is it, the World Cup. Take it, it's yours. You can. Do it and time! Oh wow! Mignon, in the history of cricket, I can name quite a few cricketers that weren't fit. You're not one of them, my darling. Second place, 7.4. That is unbelievable. Only beaten by Temba Pavuma and Woo! he's a guy. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. We have a charge HR courtesy of Fitbit and Baraka. Thank Try you very to fitness much. and get that gold. Thank you very much. Mignon, unbelievable performance, well done, 7.4, super proud of you. Thank you much, thanks coach. It's a pleasure my lady. But now let's finish things off with the Richelieu question of the week. Do you think that females should be getting paid just as well as males in all sports and codes? Unfortunately the way things are, men do bring in a lot more money at the moment. I think the, the followers, the fans, um, I do think the girls definitely need to get the recognition. And I would like to see that we can get to a stage where all women's sports athletes or women's athletes um, get equal pay because um, they do train just as hard. So ideally, in an ideal world, I'll definitely like to see equal pay one day. Agreed. Equality. For being such an unbelievable guest, we have got a bottle of Richelieu XO Cognac for you to take home. Wow. Don't drink it before a game, but, <laughs> but save it for a special moment. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. I think my husband would really be glad. <laughs> it's all his. <laughs> Thank you, Mignon. Yeah, Thank you. so, right? I'm Man Cave Guest of the Week, brought to you by Richelieu. And that's a wrap. Next week we have some more Man Cave madness. Yeah guys, let's keep the conversation going on Twitter. The handle is at mancave underscore essay and the hashtag mancave essay. But before we go, hippo.co.za is giving away a round of golf at the Stain City Golf Course designed by Jack Nicholas. To you and three friends, all you have to do is SMS hippo to 42692. Stain City also has awesome prizes to give away, so follow them on Twitter at Stain underscore City and who knows, you could be a winner. Closing off with our Richelieu Gentleman's Tip of the Week. The test of a gentleman is the respect he has for those who can do absolutely nothing for him. Mm, Cheers. man, I like that. Until next week, bye bye. The Man Cave presenters are dressed by Edgars. For a richer, more rewarding life, Richelieu. Hi guys, my name is Mina Nupriya and I stand with the band cave against rape and women's abuse. Real men treat their ladies with respect. The Man Cave is proudly sponsored by hippo.co.za. You could save hundreds of rands per month on car insurance. SMS HIPPO to 43298. That's cheeky.